Do you know in Hebrew, when you name something, you own it? Did you know that? That's the Hebrew concept, naming. When you name something, it's yours. Write that down, please. It's important. When I was in my Hebrew class in college, and they taught that throughout the Bible, you discover that God named things. Matter of fact, even if you want to control a demon, you got to name it. That's why demons don't tell you their names. A spiritual law is this. Whatever you can name, you can control. When Jesus was in the graveyard one time, there was a man there. And the man was possessed with demons. Now, Jesus Christ got to deal with these demons. So what does he do? His first question is important. He asked the man, the demon, he says, what is your name? Because once I got your name, I got you. Once he gave him the name, Christ is good. Now I know who you are. Get out! And he left. Now, why is this so important? This is why, please listen to me, this is why when you get married, you lose your name. Whoever name you take is responsible for you. <laughs> so, so when a person gets married and uses a hyphen name, it means they are not completely submitted to the marriage. And that's why the man in the marriage has psychological problems with the woman. Because he, in the back of his mind, will know forever she ain't never completely mine. So watch those hyphens. It means I ain't completely submitted to you. Which means you ain't completely responsible for me. What is the last name of President Clinton's wife? Think about it. Hillary Rodham Clinton. She never gave it up. So I'm wondering why this man has difficulties with other women. Don't always blame the guy. He's battling psychological problems. He's battling even spiritual issues. He's, he's feeling like you ain't never left your father. Why are you so quiet? This is a spiritual problem. Adam says, you shall be called woman. But he wasn't finished then. Afterwards, he named her again. He says, you shall be called Eve. Adam named her, not God. The minute you name them, you own them. They are your responsibility. And that's why the next statement says, for this cause, what cause? When you name them. For this cause should a man leave his mother and father and take care, cleave, be responsible for his wife. She went from woman to wife. See the change? What's between woman and wife? Name. I don't know which of you in this room are married and have a hyphen name. But I pray right now you will change that situation.